Ronald swings a short knife and makes two quick strokes in the air. Sky turns around and lets his neck come into close contact with the katana. Ronald cites the value of the Picasso painting in hopes of getting her to stop. However, Sky doesn't hesitate to stab the painting and the greedy old man. While they fight, Chris breaks free of the tape and escapes, dragging his broken right leg. He finds a motorcycle and, despite the pain, speeds away from the screaming and terrifying safe house. Unfortunately, the motorcycle hits a rock and throws him off the road. Luckily, a car stops right in front of him. Chris begs the owner of the car to get him out of there, saying that a woman is trying to kill him. The owner of the car is kind enough to help him into the passenger seat and reassures him that he's safe and that there are no women in the area. Chris panics and asks him to call the police. So he takes out his cell phone and dials a number. He hands Chris his phone and asks him to tell the police about the emergency. Chris hurriedly tells the female officer on the other end of the line about his captivity and torture, not noticing anything wrong. It's not until he sees the familiar house and the woman covered in blood that he realizes he's been tricked again. 